in today's episode I'm going to show you how you can replace your tie rods on the BMW E90 yeah, or E91 basically the same procedure this is how a tie rod looks like yeah and in order to replace this we are going to need just a few tools a 21 spanner yeah for the nut we are going to need a T40 for um, the torques in inside the ball joint yeah the bolt of the ball joint something like this oh it's kind of hard with one hand yeah okay this is t40 and after that we are going to need a t50 to remove the tie rod from the steering rack yeah something like this i'm gonna try to show you the setup um in here let me try to show you and you now remove the the nut from the bolt okay and now i'm gonna show you on the car how uh, you have to work and how to uh, realign everything at home uh, maybe it won't be 100 percent accurate but it uh, will be more than enough to drive the car till your next appointment you will have to use your t40 inside the bolt yeah there is a torque bit in there yeah put the t40 in there with a 21 spanner and you can undo this you will use the t40 just to keep the bolt straight otherwise it's going to spin here in the ball joint yeah we're going to undo this screw this small bolt yeah you can do this completely okay we are going to take out the nut okay the washer as well yep and normally you maybe you have to hit it a little bit with a rubber hammer but normally this will you will take easy out because this is aluminium and uh, that will not rust so now you can see that inside the bolt there is a torque bit yeah okay after doing that before before starting removing your uh, tie rod i'm going to show you a small trick yeah you will have to have some paint it doesn't matter the color check this out okay that's done you do the same thing on the other side okay yeah you can see both are painted and now you can start take it the tie rod out and you will have the measurement the same in the both on both sides yeah oh this one is a long one and voila yeah you can see the tie rod is out and you have a perfect line if you have a perfect fit yeah the part is the same length as the original one you can uh, tie it till here on the other side till here and you have a straight car exactly like before uh, these are the old parts yeah and this is the new one now in order to be sure that everything is the same dimension uh, at first i thought this this is the new one yeah? and, and this is the old one i thought the new ones are shorter than the original one because when i ordered the parts i couldn't find the same dimension and on the seller page that said that this one is um, 2.5 centimeter shorter than the original one but apparently check this out apparently are the same yeah but in order to be sure i'm gonna show you how we can um, test that you have to put a piece on the board or something make a line straight as possible right here 
yeah another one another one in here okay so we have the dimension in here put the new piece it was the other way around okay oops a line with a line first and check on the other side yep as you can see it's a little bit shorter yeah not 2.5 centimeters but a little bit shorter so in order to fix this we have to make another line where the new part is yeah okay so here is a line now we have the new line where the new part ends or begins yeah you can take the piece out and we have now this difference <clears throat> now we have to measure this difference i've checked uh, with both uh, of the new parts with the old part yeah and we have the same difference about half a millimeter uh, um, half a centimeter i think yeah half a centimeter uh, and i noticed that uh, the parts are new from the same brand but are different metal parts this is a shiny black this is a matte black or this one doesn't have any color on on it so anyway um, I've noticed L for left and right R for right yeah in order to know which one where goes and you will have a par, a par number maybe you can read that yeah as you can see in here but this bmw part number is this and 89 is left and after that 90 is right yeah so i've marked both of them now we can put everything uh, on the car and here you can see that we have half a centimeter uh, difference parts are in yeah onto the uh, old mark on both sides now i have to measure just half a centimeter yeah just a second to check so this is what's wrong with my focus just a second Hey, come on have a centimeter it's not going to be perfect but it's going to be the same on both sides yeah as you can see from 3 till 3.5 we have half a centimeter this is now pointed upwards I'm going to do the same on the on this side and we are done we can move the car and after that we are going to make an appointment to alignment shop everything is installed yeah new parts are here now we just have to put the wheels and drive it a little bit to see if we have a straight wheel yeah let me check oh look at that completely upside down yeah oh yeah the wheels are not straight so yeah we'll see about that now I'm on the car as you can see the steering wheel is straight yeah we have a straight road oh let me sit back in the seat yeah and the car goes a little bit to the left right yeah so it's not that bad I can drive for a few day, days till I have the appointment for alignment shop yeah but I think we have done very good yeah it's not in a weird position the steering wheel i think it's pretty good now back home steering wheel straight wheel straight everything is done i think this is it we've done a good job now i just have to align it properly in an alignment shop but we are good to go
So if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. If you don't like the video, thumbs down. Until next time, see you later.